There's a lighthouse on a hillside that overlooks life's seas. When I'm tossed, it sends out a light that I might see. Gresham's going to let us know that we're going to be live. You're going to be live on Facebook and YouTube, and so, uh, you know, you need to make a good impression. Well, good evening, la good evening ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Pam Sector Show. <laughs> You're listening to KWMB 88.5 Mountain View, Arkansas. The Pam Sector is a production of Dancing Dolls Music and is performed live at the Mountain View Meeting Place in the heart of the beautiful Ozark Mountain, and it's also streamed live on Pam Sector's YouTube channel and Facebook page. The Pam Sec Sector Show is made possible by our wonderful Dole sponsor, the Dolphimer Shop, maker of McFadden Dolphimers for over 60 years, as well as In at Mountain View, View Life 72560, and Jack White River Fishing Resort. Tonight's show features Bell Buckle recording artists and HMA nominees, Apple and Sector, featuring Brad Apple and Pam Sector. They're joined by special guests Sam Cobb on the mandolin and bassist Jerry Bone. And now the star of the show and the queen of Mountain View music, Pam Sector. sound great. We're so glad you're here. That's a little tune that I wrote for the Dulcimer a few years back called Crooked Ridge. And uh, we're going to do a Kate Wolf song now. We'll do a variety of stuff, so hopefully there'll be something that you like. And if there's something you don't like, 
Just act like you like it, okay? <laughs> I mean, you'll be through with this in two hours, okay? Here we go. I've been walking in my sleep Counting troubles to the counting sheep day today? Good. That was not real sure, but I think you had a good day. We've had a good day. And uh, what are you going to do over there, Brad? Well, we got an old tune here called New River Train, and uh, this is an old one. Uh, I've even seen it on the Andy Griffiths show a few times. I've seen Andy and the boys playing it. Well. We'll try our version of it here for you. <coughs> Same old train 
we're going to get Brad to get his mandolin out. And uh, we both grew up singing with our family, with our mom and dads. And so we have similar background. And uh, this is an old fiddle tune that I can remember. I can remember square dancing many times, too, and, and hearing two or three fiddles play this. Uh, it's a little tune called Liberty. But uh, these two are going to do a twin mandolin. that make you want to get up and dance? Yeah. Well, there's a little space right up here if you want to get up and dance. So uh, we'd, we'd love for you to. I, this is a tune you're going to, uh, I think, recognize. I don't remember. Who, who did this song? Do you remember, Brad? Bonnie and Delaney. Bonnie and Delaney? I'm not sure. I've heard the song, but I, I didn't know that's who did it. Probably a one-hit wonder or something. And we haven't hit anything with it yet, so... We're not even in the top 40, are we? More like the back 40. Okay. <laughs>
Well, thank you. We're going to slow it down a little bit now and do a real pretty tune here that uh, was written by Larry Rice. And uh, for those of you who remember, he was a brother of Tony Rice, bluegrass legend. And uh, Larry wrote some really great songs on uh, vocal songs and mandolin tunes. So uh, this is one of those. It's called Keep the Lamp on Sadie. Dulcimer back out, and I do want to say uh, the Dulcimer Shop is uh, my gold sponsor. I have several sponsors, which I'll try to mention before the show's over. Uh, and if I didn't have those, I couldn't keep these shows going. So I appreciate all of these. But the Dulcimer Shop is just right down uh, where you would turn to go to the Ozark Folk Center. So go by there tomorrow, and uh, they have a great gift shop, and then they make some great instruments. So uh, get a Dossinger. That's what Brad's. Grandpa called it a Dossinger. <laughs> I don't really get that one. But I did have people come in. I used to work there in the summers, and they'd want to see a, hear a dual climber. So we're going to play you a little bit of Bonaparte's Retreat on the dual climber.
Brad and I, real quick, I will introduce everybody so that you know who's who. And um, obviously, you can figure out I'm Pam, so <laughs> that's easy. Uh, over here to my left, playing mandolin, and he can play any instrument. He lives over in northwest Arkansas. So it's a treat. Anytime that we can get him here to play with us, we are always happy. And uh, we love Sam. So make welcome Mr. Sam Cobb. <laughs> Playing bass over there, he just sits there so calm and, and just plays all these great notes all the time. Sometimes I, I hear him do something he hasn't done before. I'm like, yeah. that just amazes me, Jerry. He does a great job. Jerry Bone. <laughs> and this guy right here, he plays all the instruments. He's a great uh, engineer, you know, he can do it all. And he and I played music together, I guess, off and on now for about 30 years. 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. <laughs> we just met tonight. <laughs> and, uh, that sounds better than 30 years. It though. does sound better. I can say, though, my hair color hasn't changed much, Brad, in 30 years. <laughs> uh, make welcome Mr. Brad Apple. Thank you. supposed to introduce me really nice, Brad. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks I, a lot. I got all excited there. Forgot, <laughs> forgot what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, like I say, Pam and I played a lot of music together, and uh, oh and I really enjoy getting to, to make music with her and hear her sing and play, and uh, just one of the finest here, and does a lot of hard work behind the scenes, too, here in Mountain View, and uh, and keeping music going, so I'm proud of her for that. So please make welcome Miss Pam Setzer. Thank you. That was very nice, Brad Apple. You may get an extra little bit of money tonight. <laughs> well, this is a song. Oh, I do. Thank you. See, he's my keeper. I'm the elder here. Uh, this is a song that I wrote several years back. And uh, Brad and I have a, a CD back there, a self-titled Apple and Setzer, and this song is on, one of the songs on there.
Thank you. Hello. Is that your phone, Sam? No, it's not me. <laughs> well, we got a Jim and Jesse number for you here, and uh, we'll do this in memory of Jim and Jesse. Uh, uh, Jim had died a number of years ago, and actually Jesse McReynolds passed away just today. So uh, they uh, they did a lot of great music through the years. Just gosh, it's just almost uncountable <laughs> the number of stuff they come out with back in the day. But this is one of their great songs right here. It's called uh, "Thanks for the Trip to Paradise." <laughs> I play left-handed. Anybody? You did? Yeah, been backwards all my life. This is an old uh, Kenny Loggins tune, I think. <laughs> it's called Watching the River Run.
Here's one. Uh, Growing up, you know, you always have certain singers that you love, and uh, Emmy Lou Harris is one of those. And uh, this is a song I heard her do, but then Brad heard a bluegrass group that did it called, what's it called? Coyote Song. Yes. Was that not the right one? Yeah, that's it. Was it Spectrum? No, this was Delia Bell. Oh. Does anybody remember Bill Grant and Delia Bell? <laughs> My goodness, I'm getting old. <laughs> 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 Doesn't seem that long ago, but I know my dad remembers them. <laughs> they used to be a bluegrass act. Uh, in fact, actually, Pam, uh, Emily Harris is on this album that Delia Bell has got this recorded too, oh, really? and, and Emily was on that album as a guest, so. I guess she stole it from her then. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's called Back to Those Hills Where I Belong. Good time, Brad. I'm having a great time. Yeah. Are y'all having fun out there? Yeah. That's good. Well, does anybody remember Carter and Ralph Stanley? Uh oh. Oh, right. good. All right, I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is one of the songs they did uh, a long time ago, and I'm sure a lot of other people have done it too. It's called uh, Worried Band Blues. We get old Sam to kick us off over there. Where we 
Carter family tune. We do a lot of old tunes, don't we? Our, what is it you say? My repertoire is so old. I like to keep my repertoire real current. <laughs> uh. yeah. So this is one called Darlin' Palamine. And uh, we're going to get the spoons out on this one. We've got a couple more and uh, then we're going to take a break. Um, I do want to tell you, tomorrow night um, at the Ozark Folk Center, uh, there's going to be a benefit for uh, a fella musician friend of ours, Charlie White. It's going to be in the White Oak Theater. It's across from the restaurant there, starting at 6 o'clock. And there will be music. There will be a live auction, silent auction, uh, pie, cake, whatever auction. And uh, all the proceeds go to uh, help Charlie. And also online, which tomorrow night we'll be selling these, <coughs> these uh, you can make a $20 donation and you get the chance to win. Uh, there's two guitars autographed by Winona. And then there's a brand new Martin D12. And there is a cowboy bear that this guy down here on the corner that does the chainsaw art. And uh, so you can, if you come tomorrow night, you can buy them in person. But if not, go on my uh, Facebook music page and you can pull it up there and you can, can do it online. So here we go. A little bit of uh, Darling Pal of Mine. Uh, Brad and Sam over here I, I've never they went through this when we practiced a little bit and it's something about Uncle Larry's garden is that what it's called yeah and his dad's name Larry and he has a great garden he brings me for okra a lot how is the okra Larry how's your okra Larry so that means you'll be bringing some before long? Oh, good. Uh-oh, that could be a problem. <laughs> yeah, like Pam mentioned, this is called Uncle Larry's Garden, written by Larry Rice, the one that rent, uh, wrote to keep the lamp on Sadie a while ago, too. Good little mandolin tune, and uh, we're going to try it for you. This will be the second time I think we've played it, right? Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
think how Thank good you. the third time's gonna be. I couldn't get any better. <laughs> it's great. I've never heard that before tonight. It's a neat tune. We're gonna do one more for you and then we're gonna take a little break. Uh, so don't run off because we'll be back for another half. And um, we do have some CDs there for sale. And I know they've got some popcorn. Do you have chocolate chip cookies? We do have chocolate chip. Chocolate chip. Do you have coffee? We do have coffee. You have water, soda? Water, soda. And there is a tip bucket back there uh, if you um, want to give us a tip about anything in life. But uh, <laughs> this is one that uh, Brad and uh, Charlie Sandage co-wrote called Grandma Danced with the Arkansas Traveler. So we're going to about, uh, take about 10 to 15 minute break. Uh, so y'all, restrooms are right behind you. Please don't run off because we got some more great music. Let's go. 
skies above are blue. My world was wrapped up in clover. The night I looked at you, I found a dream that I could speak to. A dream that I can call my own. I found a thrill. My cheek to a thrill that I have never known. Oh, you smile, yes, you smile, and then the spell was cast, and here we are in heaven.
it, girl, take it real slow. Girl told her mama, hey, I really gotta go. He's waiting in the car. Mama said, girl, you won't get far. Thus are the dreams of an average Jane. 90 miles an hour in lover's lane on a tank of dreams. Oh, if she could have only seen. But fate's got cards that it don't wanna show. That boy's just a walk away Joe. Born to be a lever, tell you from the word go. Destined to deceive her, he's a wrong kind of paradise. She's gonna know it in a matter of time. That boy's just a walk away Joe. Just a little while into Abilene Pulls into a station and he robs it clean She's waiting in the car Oh, underneath the Texaco star She only wanted love, didn't bargain for this She can't help but love him for the way he is She's only 17 And there ain't no reason need so she'll ride this ride as far as it will go. That boy's just a walk away Joe. Born to be a lever, tell you from the word go. Destined to deceive her, he's a wrong kind of paradise. She's gonna know it in a matter of time. That boy's just a walk away Joe. Here we go. Ready or not. Did you get me a cookie? I couldn't get my leg up there high enough to let them know it was in. You know, that's what you do when you're in a jam. You just lift your foot up and they know you're quitting. Well, this here's an old Carter family number. And uh, we have any Flat and Scruggs, Foggy Mountain Boys fans? Alrighty, well this song actually is where their band took their name from. Foggy Mountain Boys got their their name from this song here. This is a, it's called Foggy Mountain Top. Sail away to the west 
singer that I have always loved is uh, Ann Murray. I love her voice and um, listen to her a lot. I actually got to see her twice in concert. I got to take my mom and but I, I never sing an Ann Murray song that I don't think about my mom because one night after a show someone came up and said well Jean who is your favorite singer? Boy I'm sitting there you know oh she goes Ann Murray and then she looked over and said well besides Pam. I was close to Ann. You're good too, Pam. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> so <laughs> here's a little Ann Murray song.
Thank you. I don't know how we we were thinking about new stuff, and I actually first started singing that song back in Hot Springs when I was about 21. I sang it six nights a week. Do you remember that, Brian McClung? Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, you mean you mean 21? Uh, that was just about 10 years ago. I was real excited about it till I started trying to figure the chords out, and then uh, I learned real quick it was pretty complicated. <laughs> just did and it didn't go over too well. <laughs> uh, be like Johnny Carson calling Kmart shoppers, Kmart shoppers. Did you ever see that where he didn't get a response and he tapped the overhead microphone? <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, we're good now. And we're going to the Delmore Brothers now, right? From it's Andrew. another very new group. Cajun tune, so that means I need audience participation. And what I need you to do is a Cajun yell. Anyone know how to do that? There we go. Here. Let's hear it again. Okay. So on the count of three, 
follow, Sherry. One, two, three. Hey. Very good. were very good. Well, here comes another feature of Brad and uh, Sam over here. Uh -oh. <laughs> yep, get ready, Sam. Yeah, he probably say he's he has played this more than twice, I think. <coughs> he can play it one he can hear it one time and got it. Yep. He's young. <laughs> That helps. <laughs> this is a little tune that uh, Alan Mundy wrote, and uh, Alan's been right over here at the courthouse square back when in the in the day a long time ago, and uh, he was really great at uh, melodic style banjo. He could play fiddle tunes like note for note on the banjo, and that was kind of a new new thing back in those days. And I know my dad saw him back then in the '60s and. Uh, Said he stood over here like all afternoon, one afternoon, just playing one fiddle tune after another on the banjo. And, uh, but this is one he wrote here, and this was called Molly Bloom.
That was good. Follow that, Brad. This is a uh, country gentleman tune here, and it's called uh, Come Set by the River. female singer, Linda Ronstadt. I mean, you just don't get any pipes better, I think, than, than she has. So this is one uh, that Brad is actually the one that suggested we work this up, and, um, and I'm proud he did. It's our greatest You didn't hit. ask me who I heard this one by. Oh, who did you hear this one by? Spectrum. Spectrum. It's, an, it's another group nobody remembers anymore. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't. I've never heard of them. This is a great song. I mean, Linda Ronstadt could sing any kind of music, you know, from bluegrass to gospel to opera, and just, she covered it all. Well, we're, really, we're branching out now. We're going to do a, tell them, Brad. This is a Rolling Stones song here. Rolling Stones. Woo. It's going to get wild. Yeah. Not really. I'm ready. You ready, Sam? I think so. How about you, Jerry? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> i 
Thank you. It is. Uh, I'm going to do another dulcimer tune that I wrote just uh, about three years ago. And uh, have a little granddaughter, five years old. Her name's Dawson. And this is called Dawson's Dream. Boy, my, these things are slipping. It's about as good as it's going to get. Are you staying around to sing? We only have three more. Are y'all going to? Party pooper. Yes, well, I'm. Everybody say good night, Brian. Everybody tell Brian good night. Good night, Brian. So here's Dawson's dream. He's been at Bible school with her all week. She loves Gresham. By the way, that Gresham is running the sound and the lights, and he's keeping Facebook going and all that stuff. He's also one of the great bass players. He plays with so many, y'all. We appreciate, we appreciate him tonight. you got Brad this is another Jim and Jesse number yeah, and uh, actually this did a little bit on the charts for us here it did. Uh, back last uh, year I guess yeah or was it this year I can't remember <laughs> it was like in September and October September, it was like yeah. okay number four on the bluegrass today charts all right yeah. yeah well again this is written by Jim and Jesse McReynolds and we'll get Sam here to kick us off here I'll love nobody but you Oh, yes, we need this. 
my mom, uh, I sang with my mom and dad uh, until I was about 21, started when I was five. And this song we're going to do now, I always, it was mom's greatest hit. I mean, if we didn't have it on the show, she'd say, they've, people got to be tired of hearing that. But so we wouldn't have it in the show. And then somebody would say, would you please do When the Wagon Was New? So um, she would always do it, of course. So this is uh, When the Wagon Was New. There's a sweet little lady right up here on this front row, and she came all the way from Batesville, Mississippi, and we have a little time. Can you all make it through two more songs? Okay. She wanted to uh, hear Airship, so uh, I'll do this for any of you out there that like it, and for any of you that don't like it, it'll be all right. smiling. That's good. <laughs>
Thank you so much. You have been a wonderful audience. How about another hand, Mr. Sam Cobb over there? <laughs> Mr. Jerry Bone. <laughs> Brad Apple. <laughs> Pam Setzer. Thank you. So uh, I just have a little homework for you. Uh, if you haven't liked, uh, pick up one of my rack cards back there. If you haven't liked my Pam Setzer music page, I would love for you to do that or subscribe to my YouTube. Um, Friday nights, uh, these shows are broadcast, they're live streamed. So when you go home to Batesville, Mississippi or wherever, you can uh, still watch us. And uh, I actually will not be back here. The next show that I'll have a Pam Setzer show will be July 21st. And July 22nd because I'm going to be gone uh, for two weeks and then they've got a camp here. So, uh, but do that. And Apple and Setzer, we have a Facebook page. And tell them about your um, page to like, Brad. Yeah, I have a, a YouTube channel called Brad Apple Music and uh, got a lot of interesting things on there. Some sort of inside, uh, inside the uh, business kind of interviews and stuff with music people and. Uh, I actually just did one here in Mountain View with Charlie Sandage. It's really good. Uh, a couple of parts out there already on that. So if you would, go there and subscribe to me and uh, watch it and uh, so like it, comment, you know, all yeah. that stuff. <laughs> yeah, subscribe, like, share, comment. Have you got it? You got your homework? Okay. So uh, we're going to do one more for you, and this is a little bit of uh, called Gone at Last. Uh, pick up one of those cards and it has all my sponsors on the back too 
And that's another homework. Go see them and tell them thank you. Oh, and good night.